Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Arnel, and today we will discuss about how to join a live sales or how to record the sales transaction. Let's say you have a customer, you sold to your customer worth 500,000 worth of merchandise. Then you have to debit cash of 500,000 and uh, sales of 500,000 uh, in your credit. Cash will be part of your uh, uh, balance sheet under current assets and sales will be part of your income statement. Now, uh, to give you favorable to your customer, sometimes you are uh, allowing him to, to have a, disc, uh, a term, like for example, 30 days, 60 days, based on your agreement. So, if it is sold on account, you have to record temporarily, temporarily on accounts receivable, uh, accounts receivable uh, debit uh, 500,000 and sales of 500,000. Now, at the time of collection, you have to debit now the cash because now you're receiving the payment for the account receivable or for the sales you made in this transaction and uh, credit accounts receivable of 500,000 to offset accounts receivable okay however sometimes uh, you give uh, uh, 50 percent uh, cash and 50 percent uh, receivable and it will be payable in uh, due time let's say in 30 days okay and now uh, let's say this is 50 percent cash and then 50 percent receivable so how to journalize in this kind of mixed transaction okay how to debit, uh, debit cash of 250,000 this is 50 percent of 500,000 50 percent of 500,000 are sold uh, in cash and 250 in your accounts receivable and the sales still uh, you have to record 500,000 doesn't matter if you collect the money or not you have to record the sales the uh, full sales now at the time of collection you have to uh, debit only the cash of 250 because the receivable is 250 and accounts receivable of 250 this is to offset this uh, accounts receivable by the way both will be recorded as current asset under um, bal in balance sheet and of course this is uh, income statement now there are uh, cases that the transaction are, um, are subject to uh, tax or um, like for example uh, value added tax how to record transactions with value added tax we will discuss that in the next video.